Hello and welcome to Entertech Global Training. My name is Kara Wills and today we will demonstrate the installation of a soft start kit on our YT product. Let's get started. There are two soft start kits based on the tonnage of unit. The part numbers of the YT kits are AKSSSF, which is compatible with the two and three ton units, and AKSSLF, which is compatible with the four, five, and six ton units. Here are the components of the kit. The first step is to mount the plastic mounting clip to the metal bracket with two of the 5 16 hex head screws. Only opposite corners need to be screwed down. Next, we'll begin the work inside the cabinet. The center cabinet insert panel must be removed by inserting a flat blade in the gap on one side and gently prying it open. Once the band is removed, the top and bottom panels can be removed. Important, before proceeding to the next step, de-energize the high voltage connected to the unit. Once power is disconnected, remove the control panel cover from the control panel mounted on top of the unit. Next, we need to disconnect the red, black, and yellow 10-gauge wires from the compressor contactor. Cut any wire ties and remove the short yellow 10-gauge wire that runs from the compressor contactor to the capacitor. This wire may be discarded. Warning, this is important. After disconnecting the black, red, and yellow wires from the compressor contactor, the lugs must be tightened down or connection may be bad. At this point, the strain relief that snugly holds all the high voltage compressor wires is removed from the control wiring plate that is mounted on the top cover of the unit so that the red and black wires can be separated from the bundle and routed down to the compressor section. To do this, the strain relief will need to be squeezed from the bottom side in the air handler compartment and pushed upward. Also, we'll remove the 7 8 inch cap plug to the left of the strain relief that was just taken out. The strain relief provided in the kit will be placed in this hole around the soft start kit harness wires. Take the red and black wires out of the strain relief and pull them into the air handling compartment of the unit. Cut the zip ties off the bundle of wires that runs from the top control wiring plate down to the compressor section. Next, you'll need to locate the access hole that contains the high voltage compressor harness under the blower housing near the side panel. Peel the sealing compound from the wiring access hole at the blower divider. Set the sealing compound aside for later. Mount the metal bracket to the bottom of the front right corner for left return units or the front left corner for right return units. Existing holes will be used to mount the bracket. Position and align the holes on the corner post. The bracket, when aligned with the holes, will position the soft start module approximately one and a half inches up from the base plate of the cabinet. Use two 5 16 hex head screws provided in the kit. Important, do not mount the module to the plastic clip at this time. Once wiring is completed, the soft start module will be mounted to the plastic clip. Lay the soft start module in the bottom pan close to the bracket that it will be mounted on to do all of the wiring. Push the auxiliary relay terminal connector into place on the top of the soft start module. Take the black and red 10 gauge wires, the ones that were disconnected from the contactor, and route them through the wiring access hole at the bottom of the blower compartment into the compressor section. Cut off any excess wire length, remembering to leave enough slack in order to mount it to the metal bracket. Strip the ends of the remaining wire and connect the red wire to the R terminal on the soft start module and the black wire to the L2 terminal on the soft start module. All of the wires in the new wiring harness will need to be run through the hole that the 7 8 inch cap plug was previously removed from, except for the red and black wires. These two wires will be run through the strain relief that the yellow and green 10 gauge compressor wires are currently run through. Remember, the strain relief was taken out earlier. Take the wiring harness furnished in the kit and starting at the control box, feed the wires down to the soft start module. Make sure to route the wires along the same path as the yellow and green 10 gauge compressor wires. Connect it as shown in the schematic. It is important to note the red and black 10 gauge wires connect to the line side of the contactor. For this reason, the module is always hot. This is important. The solid yellow 10 gauge wire that runs from the S terminal on the soft start module to the capacitor must go to the same side of the capacitor as the solid yellow 10 gauge start wire from the compressor. The yellow 10 gauge wire with the black stripe connects to the opposite side of the capacitor. 
Remove the low voltage terminal strip cover. Next, connect the two low voltage 18 gauge wires to the auxiliary relay on the soft start module. Connect one end of the red 18 gauge wire to terminal 11 on the auxiliary relay connector on the soft start module and the other end to the R1 terminal on the top right corner of the lockout board. Connect one end of the brown 18 gauge wire to terminal 14 on the auxiliary relay connector on the soft start module and the other end to the L terminal on the thermostat terminal strip in the control box. If there is an issue with the soft start module, a fault signal will be sent to the lockout board, which in turn will send a fault signal to the thermostat. After connecting all the wiring to the soft start module, mount the module to the plastic mounting clip on the sheet metal bracket, making sure the wiring is pointed downward. Once all wiring is complete, reinstall the existing strain relief into the top cover control plate and use the new strain relief provided in the kit around the new wires. Verify the final wiring matches the diagram provided in the kit. The wire ties provided in the kit should be used to bundle the harness wires back together and secure them to the other high voltage wires passing through the wiring access hole up to the top plate. Reinsert the sealing compound into the wiring access hole at the bottom of the blower compartment. Using the rest of the provided foam tape, cover any gaps in the bottom of the top cover control plate where all the wiring connections are made in order to prevent air leakage. The last step is to read through and familiarize yourself with the LED light functions in the installation manual. The installation manuals can be found at the Entertech website. Referring to the manual while watching this video will make learning easier. Thanks for watching the Entertech Global Training video.